Mexican fans won't need reminding that once again they failed to advance oh. from the round of 16 after that defeat against uh, Brazil in this year's World Cup. Uh, we're expecting today an announcement about the future of Juan Carlos Osorio as coach. It didn't come. For the latest on this, let's join our favorite friends, Seven Hook. All right, thank you very much, Dan. Yeah, what would a Mexican national team coaching change be like without a little bit of drama? So let's kind of go back a few weeks because it was really just about 10 days ago when reports really started to come out of Mexico that Juan Carlos Osorio was not going to continue as the national team head coach. In fact, some reports had it stating that he had turned down a contract extension. This is a guy who at one point has said he would like to stay on as part of a project. Herc, then I'll ask you the question, why wouldn't he want to continue dealing with not just the Mexican national team, but I'm thinking more specifically the Mexican Federation? Well, let's backtrack. Before the World Cup started, there were rumors that he actually had been offered an extension. No, and he, he said, hold off, yeah, let's wait he, on that He said after. there was an extension yeah. and, and turned so it down. why wouldn't he? Well, Mexican Federation limits, they handcuff what he can actually do, his influence on the program. All 18 owners have to approve of him even trying to bring in a player who is nationalized, who is a dual citizen, uh, something they are very opposed against. He wanted to bring Avila Sutlao, they shot it down. He wants a player of certain attributes, left-footed, this type of player, they shoot it down. They handcuff his selection. And he also sees, on the other end, that maybe the selection of players he has going forward isn't what he had hoped. Oh, and then also the Mexican media. They've gotten into his personal life. It's become very, very dirty, very personal. There are a lot of things circulating to why he may not want this job. Guillermo Cantu is the new general sporting director of the Mexican Soccer Federation, and he came out today and said that each side is still evaluating what it was. I don't know about you. I've been through a few breakups in my day. This seems like a breakup that both parties know is the right thing to do, but neither wants to initiate. You agree? Uh, I don't necessarily agree that either. I do agree that I feel Juan Carlos Osorio is playing both sides. And what I mean by both sides is I think Juan Carlos Osorio is flirting with other national teams. He may have already something in hand. I don't know what national team, but a lot of rumors that the Colombian national team, that the U.S. men's national team is involved. But the Mexican national team right now doesn't have where to go to. You look at their options, it's Mateus Almeida. He seems to be blacklisted by the Chivas ownership because, remember, all 18 have to come to terms. All 18 Mexican league owners. They are very, owners, yeah. very influential when it comes to ownership. Then you look at Miguel Herrera. He's done a complete 180. Before, he was all about the Mexican national team job. Now he says, hey, I'm happy where I'm at at Club America. Seems to me that it's been mandated. It's been told to him, you focus here. Because as we all know, Yon de Luisa, the new president, came in. He runs Televisa. He runs the federation now. I want to run a conspiracy theory by you on Osorio. Mm -hmm. I think he's waiting for a domino to fall. That domino, Jose Peckerman with Colombia. Peckerman has been linked to Argentina as both a potential head coach, but also as the potential technical director. I think he's waiting for that Colombia job to open so that he would then fill it should Peckerman choose to leave. Colombia's not going to run Peckerman off. But I think he's waiting for that to open. You agree? That's not a conspiracy theory. He said it himself. He was in Colombia, and they quoted him. He said that any Mexican citizen would love to be part of this program. I think he's waiting for it. 